proprietary software because that's counter to the social mission of the school. But there's a deeper reason for education of programmers. You see, every program embodies knowledge. If it's proprietary, that's secret knowledge withheld from the students. Some students are fascinated by programming, typically the ones who have a great talent for programming. And if they use a program, they want to know how it works. But when they ask, how does it do this? If it's proprietary, the teacher can only say, it's a secret, we can't find out. And thus, education is not allowed. A proprietary program is the enemy of the spirit of education and therefore must never be tolerated in a school. Schools must show their loyalty to the spirit of education. But if the program is free, the teacher can explain as much as he knows and then give each student a copy of the source code saying, read it and you'll understand everything. And those kids will say, wow! And then they'll read it because they yearn to understand. And then the teacher can say, if there's any point you can't figure out by yourself, show it to me and we'll figure it out together. This way, these kids have the chance to change, to develop from natural born programmers into good programmers. What they need to learn is how to write good, clear code. They need to learn to recognize all the things which are not clear. So every time they come across code that they have trouble figuring out, they learn, this is not clear code. You shouldn't write it this way. How do you learn to write good, clear code? You do it by reading lots of code and writing lots of code. Only free software offers the chance to read lots of code of, real, of large programs we really use. But then you have to write lots of code, which means writing code in large programs. However, before you are ready to write a large program by yourself and do a good job, you have to do smaller things. How do you start small in writing code for large programs? You have to start by writing small changes in existing large programs. Only free software offers the opportunity to write changes, first small ones, then bigger ones, and eventually big ones, in large programs we really use. So any school can offer students the opportunity to master the skill of programming, but only if it's a free software school. However, there's an even deeper reason for moral education, education and citizenship. Schools have to go beyond just teaching facts and skills. They have to teach the spirit of goodwill, the habit of helping others. Therefore, every class must have the following rule. Students, if you bring software to class, you may not keep it for yourself. You must share copies with everyone in the class, including the source code, in case someone here wants to learn. Because this class is a place where we share our knowledge. Therefore, bringing proprietary software to class is not permitted. The school, to set a good example, must follow its own rule. It must bring only free software to class and share copies of the source code with everyone in the class that wants one. Those of you who have a relationship with the school, if you're a student, a teacher, an employee, a parent of a student, it's your responsibility to campaign for that school to move to free software. Now, you can ask privately, why not? Maybe that will be enough, but if it's not enough, then you've got to bring up the issue publicly in order to find more support from the community, from within the communities. How do you reach allies? You have to build awareness that this is an important issue. So, for more information, look at GNU.org.